Let's test this 200 watt folding panel, shall we? I'm Roger from Offgrid, and in this episode, we're going to be uh, testing this 200 watt foldable solar panel, comparing against a Victron, just one of these panels. We were doing another experiment here, so I've only got this one connected at the moment. So we're going to check the solar yield of this 185 watt solar panel, and then compare it with this 200 watt foldable. So we're yielding 170, between 170 and 180 watts on this Victron panel. It's just dropped down to 169, uh, but that's it's pretty good yield on a day like today. So let's connect this and see how we do. Right, the sun has come out and as you can see, we're uh, harvesting about 180, we are on about 185 a few minutes ago. Uh, so that's looking quite good. So for a 200 watt panel to be harvesting 180 watts of its possible yield on a day like today, that's uh, really quite satisfactory. And this is, this is quite a easy panel to transport along. So as you can see, we're running on 170 something watts. We were on about 185 just a few minutes ago. For a while, when the sun was really, really bright earlier on, we were getting close to the 200 watts of uh, total capacity. So when you have slight haze, it, it affects all panels. There, people sell panels as being low light panels. It's absolute rubbish. All panels, when a bit of haze comes in, they drop the yield. And these are doing pretty well. I think the same as the, the bigger one, when we partially shade it, You'll probably see that the yield will drop, so we've dropped down to 120, 130. So not too bad. We covered two of these, 121. These are actually coping quite well under partial shaded conditions. In fact, I'm quite impressed with them. They, if anything, these uh, suitcase panels cope better with the Victron panels when you have some uh, tree shading. I'm not sure how, how many bypass diodes they have in these little blue handle things at the ends, but must be pretty good. So really impressed with these. So hopefully you found that useful, uh, this 200 watt solar panel, folding panel. So if I could take you through all of the uh, the stats and the, the nice stuff about the 220 watt panel. Uh, as you can see, it's 220 watts. Uh, the working voltage, interestingly, is quite high. Uh, it's 48 volts, which is pretty good because uh, Victron MPPT controllers only activate when the panel voltage is 5 volts higher than the uh, battery voltage. That's quite nice. That means that they'll activate nice and early and uh, work really well. Working current is uh, 4.58 amps, so that means you can use fairly thin cables because the current is pretty low. You won't have much uh, voltage drop along the line if you're using, say, a 10 meter extension or something like that. So it's quite nice that the the voltage is high and the amperage is low. What it means is you'd put the uh, you'd use your extensions from your panel to your controller, with your controller being as close to the battery as possible, so you don't get voltage drop along that line. That's quite nice. Uh, the uh, short the the open voltage 57 volts. The uh, short circuit current is 4.81. Uh, I quite like the fact that it is IP67, so uh, very waterproof. Uh, with a conversion efficiency of 23. And then the other uh, interesting thing to me was the um, overall weight, which is 8.85 kilograms. So pretty light. It's like a bit of uh, a reasonably heavy bit of hand luggage that you take with you to the airport. And uh, it's easy to carry. Uh, and the folder dimensions, nice and small, 671 millimeters by 602, so easy to stow away in uh, like in particularly in small van conversions where you go to a conference or a, a show or some sort of festival or something like that for several days and you just need your power so you can tuck it away quite easily and uh, obviously the unfolded dimensions not as important really to just over two and a half meters by 600 mils so uh, you'll be able to hang it on the side of your vehicle quite easily if you want to, or um, rig something up so that they're standing up right outside. So those are the uh, settings for, well, the um, <coughs> statistics for the 220 watt uh, looking pretty good. So we borrowed these panels from uh, Total Cool, from, particularly from uh, Bob and Linda, uh, because we were curious to put them through their paces because we have quite a number of people asking us about foldable solar panels. And I think, as I mentioned previously, we've often recommended the Renergy suitcase panels, but they are really, really heavy. And uh, 
quite difficult to put in a van to cart around. So these foldable panels are really light by comparison, small and easy to carry around. We have nothing to do with Total Cool. Uh, we, we know Bob and Linda from various shows, but uh, we've got nothing to do with them, so we don't get anything out of this. So this has been an honest review. But I, I did ask them for their details in case you want some sort of a deal. So uh, apparently the best way to do this is to call the following number. Uh, so this is a British number. It's uh, 07718 733272. So 07718 733272. Call Linda and I'm sure she'll uh, arrange a nice deal for you. Folds into four, as you can see here. And uh, it has the uh, MC4 cables coming out. It comes with a few other cables, so various cables and odds and ends that uh, come with the panel that gets stored here. Your initial cable, the MC4s, wraps around here. So this is done by Total Cool, and uh, I'm quite impressed with it. So quite for a 200 watt foldable panel, uh, quite doable to take this in your small converted van or whatever. Uh, got these little eyelets, four of them, to uh, hang it on the side of the vehicle if you wanted to, or hang it on something, uh, drive some stakes into the ground and just hang it so that, it, especially in the winter months when the sun is um, practically horizontal on the on the horizon, you can uh, hang it up on something and get as much solar yield out of it as possible. So I'm, I'm really impressed with that. So hopefully that's useful to you and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.